Hi everyone, Joni here. Last time you saw me, I had just shaved my head. I know I look a little different yet. I'm kind of enjoying the long blonde wig. It's, um, it's still me in the inside. So I want to thank you for answering my, my blog. I haven't responded to you because I was having some technical difficulties, but I've read each one and they mean so much. And I'll try to get that under control and, and answer some of you really soon. So thank you for checking that out. So I wanted to tell you that about seven years ago, I picked up a paintbrush for the first time. And I think I would like to incorporate my, some of my art and tell you where my paintings have come from since then. Um, I began painting and it has been so healing and therapeutic for me. Many times when I've had surgeries and I wasn't well enough to go out, um, I could paint. I could go down in my art studio and have to put makeup on or even get dressed and I put on my clothes and I could paint. And God has really used that to heal my soul, to help heal my body. Sometimes I was so transcended that I forgot I had pain. And I think that was about the only time I, I would forget that, oh wow, I think it's time to go take some painkillers. It's been four hours or six hours and I would completely forget about my pain as I was so taken into what I was working on. So I'd like to show you one painting that I did when I was first diagnosed again here before Christmas. So mid-December I was told again that I had cancer again and my family and I were pretty much blown off our feet. It, it did take us a while to process. I had had all that reconstruction surgery. I thought all this was behind me, but I needed time to process that and one morning during this time, it was right before Christmas, I woke up one morning and I was, I just made my morning coffee and I looked out the window and I saw one of the most amazing sunrises I believe I've ever seen in my life. It almost took my breath away and I stood there with my coffee cup and it was like heaven was opening up and pouring from above through the sky was this beautiful orchid color and pinks and oranges and I just stood there and I said God this is a miraculous sunrise a beautiful morning and I just stood there and drank my coffee and I soaked it in and sunrises as you know they don't last that long and, and then it was gone so I've been working on a, a painting I'd already put the texture on which I like to use a lot of texture in my work and lots of layers of building up layers of um, transparent paint and I had not been happy with the way this certain painting was going so I had put it away probably for six weeks it sat and I'd, I'd come back to it and look at it and was like no I, just, I don't know what to do with this I'm frustrated I don't like it but that morning after seeing that sunrise I was so inspired to change all the colors that I had originally put on the first few layers that I had become so unhappy with and I knew what I wanted to paint. I, I wasn't sure if I could achieve it, and I can't achieve the beautiful sunrise that God showed me that morning. But it did inspire me to paint, and again, it was so therapeutic. I was, at the time, waiting um, for emergency bone scans and CAT scans to see if the cancer had spread. And I can't tell you how therapeutic it was to see that sunrise and to begin to taint it that morning. So I want, I want to show you um, it's finished now. Um, I'm as happy as I can be with it because I'm my worst critic in my painting. So I just want to show you. I called it Velvet Morning. I'm not sure even where that name has come from for me, but there was a softness to that morning. God gave me a softness in my spirit to just take it in and absorb his beauty. So I just want to show you the sky that I tried to capture that morning had these orchid colors and it had oranges and it had pinks and it just it, it glowed and so this is what I've tried to capture with the sky I would have to say this is a very abstract landscape not everyone may see it it's not supposed to represent anything in particular it could be rocks it could be mountains I kind of like often the viewer to take in what they see in my work as you can see in the middle part this is where I've really I built up the texture. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. I also have a very high gloss varnish on it, which makes it hard to photograph. But there's a lot of built-in texture in here. I have some gold metallic paint that was one of the final layers uh, that I did. 
and I was just trying to capture the softness of what I saw that morning. And I just want to encourage you that when you're going through things, sometimes God breaks through our, our pain and what we're going through and, and gives us beautiful surprises, gives us gifts of beauty. So look around you. See, see what God wants to show you, what he wants you to be enraptured by today. And I hope to show you some more of my paintings. I'm working on one right now that I'm, I'm really excited about, something totally different. It's actually a woman's face. It's the first time I've ever um, done a woman's face, but I'm, I'm not quite finished with it, and I'll just know when, when it's done. But I hope to show you that for my next one. So thanks for joining me today and tuning in, and thanks for your blogs and your comments. They, it really matters to me. It means so much. So remember, chin up, eyes toward heaven. Bye for now.